Math time na! It's me, Teacher Jane, and welcome to my channel! Interesado ka sa subject ko? Please don't hesitate to click the subscribe button and click that notification bell para updated ka sa next uploads ko. For today's topic, we will be discussing about triangle. Triangle is a polygon with three sides, three angles, three vertices, and zero diagonal. Given triangle JPS, we have sides JP, side PS, side JP. And then angles, we have angle J or angle PJS. We have angle P or angle JPS. And angle S or angle PSJ. We have three vertices, point J, Point P and Point S. Triangles are classified according to its sides and angles. The different kinds of triangles according to sides are the following. If a triangle has three equal sides, we call this triangle an equilateral triangle. If the two legs of a given triangle extends and forms an equal measure, we call this triangle an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle has two congruent sides. So its two legs are equal. But when a triangle forms a different side measurement, we call this triangle iskaline triangle. A triangle with no congruent sides. <music> Kinds of triangles according to angles. So let's recall the different kinds of angles. We have acute angle, right angle, and obtuse angle. So from the given angle, if we connect the two points from the leg in each angle, we will form a triangle. So we call it acute triangle, right triangle, and obtuse triangle. Acute triangle forms three acute angles, meaning the three angles formed less than 90 degrees. A right triangle contains one right angle or 90 degrees angle. The other two angles are less than 90 degrees or acute angles. Then, Obtuse triangle, meaning one of the angle measures greater than 90 degrees. So, one of the angle is obtuse and the other two angles are acute angle. If the angles of a given triangle are all the same, we call this triangle an equiangular triangle.
Now let's identify what kind of triangle are the following. Now let's recall the activity that I have given you last video. Find the measure of the following. Number one, what is angle MAT? Number two, what is angle AMT? Number three, what is the measure of arc MA? Number four, what is the measure of arc AT? Number five, what is the measure of angle M? Angle A plus angle T. So number one measures 90 degrees, definition of inscribed angle. Number two, angle AMT is equal to 70 degrees. Again, definition of inscribed angle. Arc MA is equal to 40 degrees kasi inscribed angle siya. So yung intercepted arc niya ay times 2. Next, ang arc AT is equal to 140 degrees. 40 minus uh, plus 140 is 180. Therefore, the measure of angle M plus angle A plus angle T is 180 degrees. Now, ano yung napansin yung figure ng ating inside the triangle? So, it forms a triangle. So, ibig sabihin... Ang sum ng angles or interior angles of any triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So, in this case, angle B plus angle M plus angle P is equal to 180 degrees. So, kahit anong triangle yon, So, the sum is always 180 degrees. The sum of the interior angles of a triangle is always 180 degrees degrees. Now, let's have some activity. Find the missing angle measure, then identify what kind of triangle have formed. So, let's say given yung triangles na angles A, B, and C. So, 20 plus 100. So, the remaining angle is 60 degrees. So, kung mapapansin natin, meron siyang 100 degrees angle. So, we call this triangle an obtuse triangle. Next, we have 55 degrees and 35 degrees given. So, the missing angle is 90 degrees. So, therefore, it forms a right triangle. Correct? Next, we have 68 and 44 degrees. So, the remaining angle, the missing angle rather, is 68 degrees. So, meron tayong two equal angles. Therefore, it is an isosceles triangle. And for number 4, we have 79, 73. Therefore, the missing angle is 28 degrees. So, we formed an acute triangle. And then, the last one, we have 108 degrees. So, kung mapapansin natin, isang obtuse angle, dalawang parehas na angle. We call this as isosceles obtuse triangle. Next, let's try to answer the following questions. Is it true or false? Number one, equilateral triangle is also equiangular. Siyempre, it's true. Number two, isosceles triangle can be a right triangle. 
Yes, it's true kasi 90 tapos yung dalawang matitirang 90 degrees pwede silang equal. Next, we have two right angles are possible in triangle. Of course, it's false. Next, we have acute triangle has only two acute angles. Of course, false. It should be three acute angles. Number five, false. And then number six, a triangle is a polygon is true. Correct? Now, let's have another activity. It's practice time. Find the measure of the missing angle in the following triangles. So, paano natin yan masasolve? So, isa-subtract lang natin yung dalawang angles sa 180 degrees. Comment down below kung kayo po ay merong mga katanungan. When I wake up, I feel cozy, yeah. Can you hold up? Don't need no coffee yet. Got no makeup. How do you look so fine? What's up, what's up, how did I make you mine? Stay a minute, another minute, hold on a second, I love this moment, yeah Stay a minute, another minute, hold on a second, I love this moment, yeah Love is my